an Oscar-winning actress has joined up with the Kent Conservation Park in a campaign aimed at saving the environment by changing the tax system. Vanessa Redgrave and the Wildwood Trust, which is based at Hearn near Canterbury, have produced a documentary film to spearhead a drive to change land taxation. Tonight's staff from Wildwood will be on the red carpet as the film, which champions their cause, premieres in London's West End. Robin Gibson has tonight's special report. Now, what I want you to do is take off your hat it was too hot She's famous for her acting and hey, her political listen, activism. Listen. Today, Vanessa Redgrave had come to support a campaign calling for a seismic shift in the tax system, which this man argues would help save wildlife from extinction. Common agricultural policy has been a disaster for British wildlife. It's a highly partial documentary arguing the case for replacing income and other taxes with land tax. It was made by Carlo Nero, Vanessa Redgrave's son. It's a gift to the landowners that's then been used to destroy wildlife. I suppose because I'm a grandmother that this film, which is really about our environment, the woods, the waters, the wildlife, and our children and grandchildren depend on the woods and the waters and the wildlife and so does air that we breathe. We have, you know, thousands of people protesting in the streets. I think they've occupied the stock exchange, uh, the square outside the stock exchange. We're seeing this in New York, Occupy Wall Street, 900 other cities around the world. Well, they're all protesting, but perhaps if these people started concentrating their energies on this solution, maybe our politicians would pay attention. Fred. Peter Smith of the Wildwood Trust in East Kent is one of the leading voices in the documentary called The Killing Fields. He argues that our native species have been driven to extinction, not just by man, but by economics and the tax system. I've raised millions for conservation, but it still wasn't saving enough wildlife. And I've realized it's, it's the laws of land that are the problem. If we put a value on land, we put a value on water, minerals that are extracted, it costs more to use them. But it doesn't cost society anymore because we get rid of normal taxes. But then we put real value on all of nature's assets. It's never certain whether a film can really change people's minds. But this showing took place in the viewing rooms of the 20th Century Fox Film Company. So it seems to have some influential allies. Robin Gibson, BBC Southeast Today, London.